Hello, this is Hiroja Shad with another uh, clue update. I should say clue update. <coughs> Hello, this is Hiroja Shad, and this is another episode of Satoshi Treasure Hunters. And ta da! May 27th, 2019, we have another clue day. Uh, this clue is called the Aesop Key. It is, uh, the clue hint is an ambiguous story. Uh, we'll get into the clue itself. Uh, but first, before we get into that clue, uh, some updates on the, the two outstanding keys. The Earth Key and the Vong Key have not yet been solved um, by any of the public uh, groups or clans out there, nor has the game makers themselves have stated that the key itself has been solved. So currently right now, we have three outstanding keys. Uh, people are still striving and working uh, to solve them. Uh, we'll see how that is developed. That develops as the week progresses. Uh, another bit of news: uh, one of the game makers, Eric, um, I can never pronounce his name, uh, stated that very early on in the Telegram, when it came to the uh, was in the Earth key, the hunt, the hunted key, that the two field agents um, whose keys have been put back to the vault. Uh, he said that he would write a blog post showing how you could have found these other two field agents. Uh, we'll see when that is released. You know, uh, they promise release uh, tools to help people find uh, the keys, as well as verifying the keys that have been found. Uh, that hasn't been released yet, nor has the public Bitcoin address containing the uh, prize. Um, I was hoping that when this came around with another you know key drop that there would be more than just one key but maybe this clue contains more than one key associated with it um, as the progression of this hut is going uh, while the clues and the the you can say the, the attempts to solve the different keys have been fun and interesting and I'm learning different things it would be nice to see more progression with the different keys being released if this game is supposed to play out within a, a year's time. Um, at the rate that they're dropping the keys, it does not seem to be the case, but we'll see. So uh, let's get into the clue key. So it's called the Aesop. Obviously, is referring to Aesop Fables, and the key is referring to the story A Tortoise and a Hare. So as you can see on the official site, it's called the Aesop Key. It was released today, uh, May 27th, 2019. As you can see, the above keys, the earth key and the bun key, have not been solved. Uh, and the clue is called an ambiguous story. Now, I didn't realize that that was actually the title for the story, The Tortoise and the Hare. So we're given this clue, which is a picture here of a hare. And this is the Greek figure Eos, who is a Cupid figure that plays a part in a lot of different Renaissance style Photo, um, not photographs, but artwork, if you will. And the surrounding key picture or image has all these uh, different colors, if you will, as well as a grouping of colors uh, across the black and white image. And we'll talk about this picture um, in a moment. And as you can see right here, right next to Esos is the tortoise who's clearly pulling ahead, or maybe it's just uh, the wind, because the uh, where the tortoise has won the race because it looks like the hare <laughs> doesn't, look, doesn't look too happy maybe this is the end of the race and you know he, he didn't win because he goofed off so here's the wikipedia reference to the uh, aesop uh, fable the tortoise and the hare uh the tortoise and the hare is one of the aesop fables and it's number 226 in the Perry index uh, the account of the race between unequal partners has tracked conflicted conflicting interpretations and in itself a variant of a common fork folk tale uh, in which uh, ingenuity and trickery rather than dodginess is employed to overcome a strong opponent. And as you can see here, an ambiguous story right up on top. So I'm going to actually read the ASAP fable for you. Uh, maybe there might be some hints to how to decode the particular clue in itself and finding the key. So here we go. A hare was having fun at the tourist one day for being so slow. Do you ever get anywhere? He asked with a mocking laugh. Yes, replied the tortoise. I get there sooner than you think. I'll run you a race and prove it. 
The hare was much amused at the idea of running a race with the tortoise, but for the fun of thing, the thing, he agreed. So the fox, who had consented to act as judge, marked the distance and started the runners off. The hare was soon far out of sight, and to make the tortoise feel very deeply how ridiculous it was for him to try a race with a hare, they lay down beside the course to take a nap until the tortoise should catch up. The tortoise, meanwhile, kept going slowly but steadily, and after a time passed the place where the hare was sleeping. But the hare slept on very peacefully, and when at last he did wake up, the tortoise was near the goal. The hare now ran his swift, swiftest, but he could not overtake the tortoise in time. And the conclusion here is, the race is not always to the swift. The picture in itself um, is by Otto Van Veen. He was a painter, a draftsman, and a humanist, active primarily in the Antwerp and Brussels in the late 16th and early 17th century. He is known for running a large studio in Antwerp, producing several embalmed books, and for being from 1594 or 1595 until 1598, uh, Peter Raul Rubens' teacher. His role as a classically educated humanist artist reflected in the Latin name by which he was often known. Octavius Wallace was influential on the young Rubens, who would take on that role himself. And you see here down on the Wicca, you have the original picture itself without the um, additions that the game makers have made. Um, you can find this by using Google reverse engine search by taking the photo from the Satoshi's uh, treasure site and then uh, taking that image and uploading any reverse image uh, search program and this will in fact come up. So a couple of things happened when I um, looked at this image that came into mind. First off, it kind of reminded me of flags and I have some links in the show notes. I'll show you them right now from the site about, um, it's called Flag uh, Sephora, which is a, it's a telegraph system where you take uh, different color flags and they have different types of meanings by the colors and the, the way that the flag person waves the flags, you'll be able to tell like the letters and numbers of what's going on in, in a code. It, it, that's what the uh, color images on the border reminded me of. Um, it also reminded me of uh, of the uh, puzzle, The Legend of Satoshi Nakamoto, which was this picture created by coin artist and the crypto uh, artist Rob Myers. This is the picture here, and embedded in the picture is the private key to a Bitcoin address that contained four Bitcoins, and then I think additional like half a Bitcoin was donated by uh, just members of the community uh, towards the puzzle. Uh, it was solved, and if you can see here with all the different colors here, um, though along the border, it goes on the bottom and the top, and then one of the key solutions, and there's a link in the show notes to this article, was looking at the different colors, their shapes and sizes, and these ribbons as a means of trying to understand the, the code, if you will, to break down to find the private key. And it breaks down the, the entire methodology that the um, anonymous person had for the solution for uh, this particular Bitcoin puzzle which I'm thinking, you know, we're gonna have to do a similar um, code assignment, if you will, to the different colors in the picture to uh, ascertain the solution for the clue and finding the ASAP key. Now this right here is the picture, if you will, I've downloaded it in my paint. And if you can zoom in, you can see, um, a couple of different things with the picture in itself. Like for here, you can see the different color grids across uh, the, the uh, picture. So as you can see here across the photograph, or not photograph, but picture, you can see the uh, different color grids that are part of the picture itself. And I guess you can say this is like the key to the border or understanding the border of the picture of what um, what we should be associating or assigning 
any kind of lettering or numbering to. Also in each corner are these triangles of green, yellow, and purple. down here on the border and then if you look you can see right here some lettering which I would think as well as some numbers we would have to be able to um, ascertain some information so breaking this image apart is very important there's obviously another kind of image underneath there's some numbering here you can faintly see as well as what appears to be some more numbering in parts of the image below this particular uh, picture. And then you can see this number right here, the number five sticking out fairly large, as well as this right here, this kind of grid frame next to the five. So all of this is um, something that, you know, you have to, I guess you can say your Photoshop skill set to kind of get the image or images below this picture. And then using um, cartography uh, to assign the appropriate lettering or numbering to the picture grid bordering the uh, ASAP key, the anonymous story clue. Um, be interesting to see how quickly, if at all, this key is solved. I don't know if the game makers are trying to give us a hint by, with this key about, you know, maybe we shouldn't be solving these so quickly, or this is a long, long haul of a hunt. Uh, I honestly don't think that's a, an issue for my, necessary for people. It's just that the hunt, they would like it to progress maybe just a little bit faster, if you will, with the key drops. But the biggest thing is that what is it, we're nine weeks in almost, uh, 10 weeks in, and we still haven't had a verifiable public address key associated with this particular hunt. So that's it. Um, happy Clue Day. The Aesop key is out there in the wild now, as, along with the Earth key and the Abund key. Uh, good luck to all the hunters and the clans uh, trying to uh, ascertain and figure out the clue to find the key. I will, uh, I'm still finishing up the uh, text game uh, video as long as well as the PGP key video. I'm hoping to be able to release that this week. Uh, and if there's any other clue drops or any other information I will, that's important, I will um, update you. But expect a video from me um, concerning this key and the other keys to be um, at the end of the week, Friday or Saturday for the weekly update. Uh, so this is Rosa Shive. Uh, you've been watching or listening to Satoshi Treasure Hunters, and on with the hunt.